one very basic question in economic theory is whether a market clearing price, i.e. one that equates aggregate supply and aggregate demand, exists for every market. And the answer is no. An equilibrium doesn't always exist. And let's see why. Let me give you an example that is going to give you an intuition for what can go wrong. So it's an example. Suppose that there are five firms that have a supply function that looks like this. Zero if P is less or equal than five, and 100 P if P is greater or equal than five. Now let's plot what the aggregate supply function looks for this case. This is X, this is P. I'm going to plot it in red. So when the price is less than $5 per unit, you have nothing. This price of P equals 5, any subset of the firms may enter. And whenever a firm enters, it enters at a quantity of 500. So basically, we have a situation like this with quantities 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and 2,500 which any of those points are possible feasible aggregate supplies at a price of five. And then afterwards, the supply goes up as five times this, which is 500p. OK. Will equilibrium exist? It's going to depend on where the aggregate demand function lies. If we have an aggregate demand function that looks like this, then yes. If we have an aggregate demand function, let's say, that happens to cross through exactly one of those points, then yes. But if we have an aggregate demand function, let's say that passes between um, two of the points here, then the um, equilibrium will not exist as formally defined. Now, an obvious question to ask is what happens in this case? What is going to be the outcome of the market? Obviously, the market is going to generate something. Formally, the theory doesn't make a prediction in this case because a competitive equilibrium as defined doesn't exist. But one can speculate that. Um, the following will happen. One possibility is that the market will keep fluctuating at price five between these two quantities, so that on average, this much gets produced. Another possibility, by the way, is that if um, this gap is very small relative to the overall size of the market, let's say if it's uh, you know, a tenth of a percent or something like that, unlike here, which is quite large, then we could def define a notion of an approximate competitive equilibrium and just settle on that. But um, formally, strictly speaking, by the definition of competitive market equilibrium that we have defined, an equilibrium doesn't exist. An obvious and very basic question is whether there are any results that provide either necessary or sufficient conditions for the existence of a market equilibrium. In other words, can we look at the parameters of the economy, say the utility function or the cost functions, and know whether an equilibrium will exist? Um, that is something that is studied in quite a lot of detail in advanced courses, but it's too technical for this class. And it will require a lot of math that wouldn't generate a lot of basic critical insight. Instead, I, let me just give you a couple of remarks that are going to give you an idea of when equilibrium exists and it doesn't exist in the context of our simple model, which is that equilibrium tends to exist, exist if you have one of two conditions. A, they have the crossing conditions that we describe in unit one are satisfied, and the cost function of the technology exhibits this decreasing returns to scale without this semi-fixed cost, let me emphasize. Or B, we have that the marginal benefit goes to zero as x goes to infinity and constant returns to scale in production without semi-fixed cost again. In either of those two models, equilibrium exists. These are simple models that we're going to play a lot with. Now, when do problems arise? Problems with existence arise under two conditions. If there are semi-fixed cost of production, those generate the type of holes that we just saw in the previous example, holes in the supply aggregate supply function, or if there are increasing returns in production. Let me emphasize by, that by increasing returns in production, I don't mean cost functions that look like this. If you remember, um, that have these local increasing returns, and then eventually these decreasing returns 
To scale locally, I mean something literally that looks like this forever. It never reaches this decreasing returns to scale region. Now, the reason for the failure of existence of equilibrium here is quite simple. In this situation, if you plot the marginal cost, they look like this. Those others were the total cost. If at any price P, the firm wants to produce, it wants to produce an infinite amount. And clearly, an equilibrium cannot exist because at any finite price, demand can never be infinite.